Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports, a uh, light-hearted unboxing today. I have lost my voice yet again. Thank you to catching some kind of lurgy on the plane back from uh, the Ewa show in Nuremberg last week. But, you know, here I am. We will continue. This is a Schmeiser SP9. Now, I've been waiting for one of these for a couple of years, to be honest, because they've sort of been backwards and forwards as to whether they're going to happen or not, production issues, etc., etc. But I finally now have one. This has got... 12 and a half inch barrels it's super super short you know 9 by 19 parabellum cartridge so it's quite unusual straight pull action it uses p mags now edgar brothers have kindly sent me quite a few bits and pieces with this so i've got an extra p mag to go with it they've also sent me a sound moderator and a sight which i'm going to look at in a second but also just in this box it's got it looks like we've got a case for it is that a cleaning case by the looks of it probably tear that open later for the full review We've got some accessories here. These look like iron sights for it, or polymer sights that'll clip on the Picatinny rail on top. Might use those. We've got a pull through. We've got cleaning brushes. We've got various bits of instructions for the Negrini case. Schmeiser sticker. We've got an instruction manual. This all looks quite good. There's a warranty card with it and everything to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, look at the rifle. It's sort of AR-15, but not quite. Very close though. Um, and of course it's, it's 9mm parabellum, so it's a totally different cartridge as well. Different bolt face diameter, different barrel diameter clearly. Comes with a muzzle brake, so it's threaded. I'm going to be taking that off and putting the moderator on. It's got Picatinny on the top there, Picatinny on the top of the action. And it's also got a load of M-lock on the sides and bottom of the um, octagonal forend. So I'll probably put some M-lock rail on there and a bipod I've got as well. Just because I can you know, use it in more different functions and ways then. The stock is collapsible, doesn't seem to be too rattly, it's got quite a strong buffer tube on it, it's actually marked up Schmeiser that itself. But importantly, the magazine's clip in there, magazine release is there, and that will then pop out. If I leave that out, because it's got last round hold open on it, because of course this is a single shot rifle, it's straight pull, um, you know, one, one pull, one bang. So, we've got trigger system click, as expected, that's a two stage unit. And it's got on the side two position safety catch, which will work with your thumb as well. I'm not using the ceiling camera today. There is also a bolt release button there if it's locked back, bolt release buttons there. So, of course, in the shoulder, you are shoot, shoot, shoot. Let's just go that with the safety catch off this time. Bang, bang, bang. That's how quick it is. There's also a T handle here, so we can, if we want, charge it like that. And as I say, with the magazine in, it will last round hold open and if we press the button on the side the mag will then close or the action will then close sorry so i'll just leave that out for now um in fact i'll leave it in just put that back so it's out of the way so let's just have a little look at some of the accessories that come with it this is a falk precision precise instinct sight uh, I suspect it looks like a sort of a large screen red drop, a large screen red dot reflex sight. I don't really want to destroy this getting out of the packet, but sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Some of the specs on this, it's got a 55 MOA circle with a 2 MOA dot inside on one times magnification. It's got masses of elevation adjustment, runs off a CR2 battery. It's rated for 100 to um, 10,000, sorry, it's 100 to 1,000 hours. Um, buh, 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 various weights, measures, this, that, and the others. Weight are, ah, in fact, I'm reading in German here, which is why I'm a little bit staccato. And it's 271 grams weight, so um, we shall see. It's also got auto shut off, things like that. Cover that in the full review. But let's have a little looky. Here it is. So that is that. As I said, it's a large screen red dot sight. So we will set this up on the rifle. It's got a quick release lever on it here, actually. So let's just see if I can pop that on now on camera. I do love doing stuff like this because it just shows how truly sort of easy and intuitive something is. So if I just pop that on there, well, we've mounted that fairly quickly, haven't we? So I will take that. In fact, it's already on. I can see the red dot and the circle in it. So I'm going to use that a little bit later today. The sun is very bright. It's, you know, usual anti-filming conditions but we'll do that anyway. And let's also have a look at this HQS moderator for it because they've sent me an HQS moderator, which looks like one of the slim build moderators. 
very nice big nine millimeter hole or nine millimeter plus hole in the end and they've also sent the um, tools for it and there should be a thread adapter somewhere in the box as well so i'll need tools because it looks like there's a lock ring on the muzzle brake i'll take the muzzle brake off put the moderator on um, it's a reflex design i'm just hoping that's going to be long enough to fit on there without touching the forend that may or may, may not be possible. Well, we'll see when we put that together. So anyway, if you want to see the full review, please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell and keep track of my regular uploads. And uh, thank you to this week's sponsor, Military First, for my lovely orange hoodie. So go to Military First and have a look at some of the gear they've got there because they've got huge amounts of both tactical gear, bags, luggage, all sorts of kit. And you've got some slightly more technical detail gear for actually use in the field, as well as waterproofs and combat trousers all sorts of things so i have had a load of stuff from military first over the last 10 years lots of bags rucksacks some seriously tough rolling cases as well which have withstood the streets of ewa which with all its cobbles on five occasions five years in a row and plenty of airport baggage carousels as well right my voice is now about to go completely so thank you for watching bye for now